Hi everyone. So finally, Shopify has added the ability to set up product filtering on your search and collection pages. Now comes the part we're all looking forward to. Let's compare the storefront filtering of Shopify OS 2.0 themes and product filters backed by product filter and search app by Boost Commerce. Then we'll see which solution is the best for your business. Let's make a comparison of the diversity of filter options between the two. With the updates of OS 2.0, Shopify allows merchants to create storefront filtering, including filter by availability, price, product type, vendor or brand, product options, and meta fields. An important thing is that if your customer has their currency set to anything other than your store's primary currency, then the price filter of OS 2.0 isn't displayed. Furthermore, the native filters are hidden for collections with over 1000 products. That's why online merchants need our app to fill in the gaps. With us, you can create an extensive range of filters. Besides pre-made filter options for collection, title, percent sale, and review ratings, you can create unlimited filters from any product attributes with a filter by tag and filter by meta field using our app. What about arranging and renaming the filter options? With both options for product filters, you can drag and drop to rearrange the order of filter options in your storefront. However, relabeling the filters using the navigation setting of OS 2.0 is not possible now. On the other hand, these changes can be done effortlessly in our app. By default, most OS 2.0 themes show price filter as a range slider, color filter in a swatch, and the rest using a list. However, if you have product options like length, height, and width, you will want to display them in a range slider rather than a list because there will be too many values. Unfortunately, you can't change how the filters are displayed on your storefront on OS 2.0 themes unless you dig in the code editor. But don't worry. Our custom range slider tool allows merchants to turn any numeric product attributes into a range slider. Likewise, the swatch settings feature in our app is much smarter. Boost users can add their custom images to the swatch display to help shoppers visualize the color or shape of the products. Besides displaying values in a list, swatch, or range slider, Boost helps you show filter values in box. The advanced settings even support you to display a tooltip to explain industry jargon, choose a sort type for the filter values, and so on. What's more, Boost users can optimize filters that have a long list of values by adding a scroll bar, a view more button, or enabling a search box in the filters. Another point is that multi-level filters contribute to proper hierarchy arrangement, which is the foundation of a good user experience. That can be done with our app for filter by collection and by tag. In contrast, the native features of OS 2.0 themes won't let you customize this. Now, let's see the filter trees for different collections. Different collections using product filtering of Shopify OS 2.0 have almost the same filter options except for the filter by product options. But in Boost app, you can tailor a specific filter tree and assign it to a particular collection. When it comes to filter layout, a handful of OS 2.0 themes do allow merchants to change the position of the filters. However, there can be some flaws while switching the filter layout and theme editing. What about Boost? Our app allows you to switch from horizontal layout to vertical layout, and vice versa, within a few mouse clicks. Our support team can also assist you in customization for filter layout upon request. Currently, the basic filter setting in OS 2.0 themes only lets users add or remove filters. The appearance of the filters will completely depend on the theme you are using. Most OS 2.0 themes offer limited settings to customize filters or sort types. Meanwhile, the filter display settings in the product filter and search app offer a lot more options to let you control appearances on both desktop and mobile versions. What about the pagination styles? Some OS 2.0 themes offer two styles, which are traditional pagination and infinite loading. While with the Boost app, you always have three options, which are pagination, infinite loading, and the load more button. By default, there are five sorting options enabled on the Shopify collection pages of OS 2.0, which are sorting by price, best selling, date, alphabet, and featured. They can cover most of the basic sort types that are commonly sought out by online shoppers. But the downside is that you are not able to change the order, add or delete the sorting options. Moreover, the sort by options won't appear on search result pages. 
As sorting can facilitate the buying process, we have built a separate feature for you to create sorting options for both collection pages and search result pages. Moreover, you can add sort by relevance, percent sale, ratings, tag, meta fields, and more, which are not supported by Shopify OS 2.0 themes. Filter on search result pages is a must-have feature if you want to get hold of at least 14% of sales from site searchers. As for now, Shopify storefront filtering on the search page is available on some themes only. Meanwhile, in product filter and search app by Boost Commerce, the search filter tree is one of two standard filters. It is enabled by default after you install the app, but you can easily turn it off using a toggle. So, which solution for product filtering should you choose? Shopify has made awesome updates with OS 2.0, and they'll keep adding more offerings as well as opening new prospects for online merchants. To a certain extent, the default filters and sort types can cover some basic needs of online shoppers, when it comes to narrowing or rearranging the product list. Still, OS 2.0 storefront filtering has little room for customization and optimization, especially when your Shopify stores are scaling up. Therefore, if you are starting small with a tight budget, you may consider utilizing this option from Shopify. What about product filtering by Boost Commerce? Using a third-party app may pose a risk of conflicting with the theme code. But you don't have to worry about that. Our engineering team has been working with many theme providers to ensure smooth integration with full compatibility. Moreover, we can help you integrate with any other themes upon request. The Boost app also offers a wide range of in-depth filter settings as well as a bunch of useful features to make the filters user-friendly, well fit their strategies, and identical to their branding. So we can say that product filter and search by Boost Commerce is suitable for Shopify businesses of all levels. Thank you for your watching. In case you are still hesitating, we have a 14-day free trial period for you to access and try all available features. Love to hear your feedback. And if you like our video please subscribe to our channel for more valuable content in the future. See you next time.